Welcome to another episode of Garage Time with Goody. What we have here today is a 2013 Chrysler 300. And this is a 3.6 Pentastar engine, just like Chrysler used in a lot of different makes and models of their vehicles. Now, the way that these motors are mounted into the body of these cars is a little different in each one. Like, you can click on my video here to see the entire procedure from the 2014 Dodge Journey where the engine was pointed toward the passenger side of the car. It was a little harder to do because the uh, cam phasers were mounted on the side and harder to access. But on this car, this 2013 Chrysler 300, it's just put in straight forward. So we can actually access these straight from the front of the car, which is gonna make it a lot easier. And while I'm in here, we're going to be replacing the oil cooler too with a metal one and one of higher quality. Also, if you need to do any like work to the pulleys or water pump, it's also much easier to access because the pulleys are located in the front. I'm not going to record the whole process. Like I said, you can watch my other video of when I done that with the Dodge Journey, if you wanna watch that. I just wanted to put this video out there to show you how this engine is mounted in the Chrysler 300. And it is a lot easier to get to and to do this job to fix what they call the Mopar tick. And that is where the rocker arms prematurely wear out because of the needle bearings due to a manufacturer defect. And of course the cure is to buy the updated part number that has the better quality needle bearings and to replace the rocker arms and lifters while you're in there. I just wanted to show you that in each vehicle that has the Pinnastar engine, and this will work for the 3.2 or the 3.6 Chrysler Pinnastar engine that are in many makes and models of the Chrysler cars, you know, which can include Jeep, Dodge, uh, Ram, Dodge Journey, Dodge Avengers, uh, Dodge Chargers, a, a lot of different vehicles. You can look that up in the list. But like I said, they're all mounted in a different way and this is the best possible configuration in my opinion in this 2013 chrysler 300 how the engine is facing toward the front of the vehicle and that way we can access all of the important components needed to fix this problem pretty easily 